Pretty excited about this project that I'm about to start with. Let me flip it over and show you what I plan to make. So this would be this corner here, the scrap part if you will. Um, going to make a cold steel type trail master. Good thickness, uh, 3D steel, good steel. Uh, just above it, a um, that's my hand there, so it would be a, a 5 inch uh, Tanto and then a fairly large uh, Kiridashi. Um, the primary goal here is to get a katana out of it, so from tip down the curve to the end is 36 inches. So if I can just put a little more to the handle here, I'll have a, a pretty good katana. It has a nice straight handle and then the belly of the curve is closer to the handle and then to the end it's fairly straight. So I think that's called a tori sori. Sori means curvature. And it has perhaps from the, the guard, which is the suba, to the tip. It has a, uh, I think I measured it to be about a one inch sori. So the curvature is one inch from the center from here, from tip to tip. Just above it, I'll have a a longer version of the wakisashi, which will be anywhere between 31 and a half and 33 and a quarter inches. It all depends on how much of whether or not I use this as the tip side or the handle. If I use this as a handle part, I can actually, instead of having a squared off handle, I can taper it a little bit and use this the, the excess piece here just to gain another a little more than an inch. Same thing for the, sorry about the glare guys. Same thing for the blade above it. It'll be another Waki. Let's see where I can get the hide the glare, which will be 25 inches to 27 inches. Again, depending on how I use the excess, and then a Tanto, and just above that scrap. So I'm making good use of the steel because they're all stacked on top of each other. There's not going to be much um, excess material, not much scrap. So this Tanto, um, covering up the glare here. This Tanto is going to be anywhere between 16.5 to 19.5 inches and the difference why there's two inch difference is because when I cut it, if this is the tip here, I end up with this slack, but if I put the tip at the other end, well this can be part of the handle and the handle will not be complete. It's going to have a little, little triangular piece here missing, which gets filled in by whatever material I use, the wood or whatever, becomes the handle. So this is the pummel side and this little piece here gets filled in with something else. So it, it's not going to affect the performance or balance at all. This little piece here won't. So then the tip doesn't end here. I don't think the tip would end here, curved this way. So from tip to, tip to, to the pummel there, I'll actually get 19.5 inches, which is a very long length for a tanto, might be even a short uh, walkie. So What's cool about this is that they're all going to be the same thickness and at the same time, so it's going to be a functional set. I'll probably give one away. So I'll end up with the, the Gatana, the Waki, and the, and the Tanto. Beautiful. Very excited about that. And to get a, a hunting knife and, and uh, utilitarian knives with the excess, with the scrap part here, because I can't make much use with this. I'm just very excited about embarking on this project, which will take, uh, last me for months, I think. A lot of steel to cut, a lot of steel to grind, and then fittings to make. So this um, the series of videos is going to uh, probably run into the uh, summer of 2013. All right, so I'm going to uh, show you every step of the way. The first one it would be to use a uh, if I had a bandsaw, I would use a bandsaw, but I don't have that, so I'm going to have to use an angle grinder, which is probably not the best way to cut this steel. Steel is thick and with the angle grinder I could slip so I don't want to overheat the steel either so I'm going to take my time a lot of patience and a lot of luck I think I hope I don't hop over the steel and gouge out um, the surface of it alright guys here we go I've got my um Half face respirator, safety glasses. I have a hairnet, so I don't have particles falling in my hair. So I've got all uh, safety uh, precautions. I'm going to put on some gloves and then we're going to start making some sparks.
So I'm not going to take my mask off because I don't think it's safe to breathe in the ceramic and the steel and the, the fine particles that I created by uh, using the um, circular saw. The circular saw only hopped on me once in this area, but I was fortunate that the hop was not on the blade but on a piece of scrap. And it didn't leave much of a mark, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. And you can see that I was able to maintain, except for here where my starting point is, okay? This I'm going to finish off with the grinder. So you can see I've maintained a pretty nice smooth arc. And my intention was to cut outside the lines, because I wanted it thicker. This is too thick, this was too thin when I drew it out. So rather than starting over, I just made myself a note to cut on the outside of the line. So I can gain a couple of sixteenths, you know, on both sides and make it a little wider. And I have a very nice smooth transition and I didn't burn the steel. I didn't burn the steel. Okay. So I'm going to cut. Um, I don't know, I'm going to cut something. We'll see. Alright, so, just being goofy here, that's all, don't mind me. I decided to cut the katana out. I'm using a 6 inch wheel on a 4.5 inch grinder. It's not designed to do it this way. And I'm taking off the safety cap. So, do as I say, not as I do. This is not safe. I'm just doing a little experiment to see whether or not it saves me discs to use the larger one. So this is highly risky. gouge in there. I'm not too sure if I can hide it. We'll see. And uh, I'm more than halfway through. Less than halfway through here. Um, Alright, let's get at it again. The tricky part about this is though, is bringing the, um, the blade back into, into place, you know. It's kind of tricky to find the uh, the groove here, and, uh, you know, and I don't want this to happen when I drop it in. Very tricky.
I'm stopping here just for a second so my uh, angle grinder could cool off, so my steel can cool off. I just want to point out that I was not able to cut because I was in a bad position. That tip over there, so let me see if I can put my hand underneath. You can see that that little piece over here is not cut. So I'm going to have to hit that by hand actually. I want to hit that by hand because when I cut the steel out, that's going to cause the tip to bend. I don't want to bend the tip. So either with a jigsaw or with a hacksaw, I'm definitely going to cut that by hand. I don't want this corner to bend, which might be my handle. Well, not all of it, though. You know, I'm going to just cut it here. But this tip here is fragile. It's, you know, the leverage here with a 36-inch long piece may cause this, this end here to bend, and I don't want that. So I'm going to be very careful here. And... Uh, I've got about uh, about six inches or so to um, to cut at this end, so I'm going to align the um, the steel so I can get that done. So I fed the hacksaw through the slot. The blade is facing to the tip. All right, so the blade's upside down. So all I need to do now is hacksaw. Kind of hard to do with one hand, so I just wanted to show you the setup here as to how I do it. Hey guys. Sorry about my camera, my video camera, it's about 10 years old and it malfunctioned, either the camera or the tape, so I uh, missed out a whole bunch of cutting. So let me zoom in. What we have is the katana is free now. I was able to cut him out. Uh, this excess piece with the uh, trail master, the Tonto and some sort of um, Kiridashi is still, still needs to get cut. And the Tonto and the uh, Waki needs to, needs to be cut, but I do have a Waki that's free, and I have a nice katana. Let me pick him up. I oh, hope I don't cut myself. So there it goes. It's long. Ooh, that leverage hurts. Oh, I put it down. Make sure I don't cut myself. Mm. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Oh, that hurt. Okay, so I wanted to show you the finished product. I was able to cut it out. My floor was clean before I started. Now it's covered in, in um, I don't know, little bits of ceramic, whatever that material is, and, and steel. Uh, Got to clean up my shop. But just want to let you know that the six inch wheel worked very well for me. You know, I've got a lot of practice with that skill and that skill uh, angle grinder works great. And this brand is Diablo. It was 1.2 millimeter thick. I picked up these at uh, Home Depot. And I think I only paid like a dollar more for this Diablo versus the DeWalt. And I used the DeWalt uh, XP, which was uh, extended performance. It was supposed to last longer. And I think the Diablo brand, at least this one, landed, lasted longer than the more expensive DeWalt XP version. This was four and a half inches, this was six and a half, and I think these lasted longer, not only because they were bigger, but even when the six and a half went down to a four and a half, it just took a longer time for this to wear out. This wore out very quickly, and this was a, uh, a, a new one. So, a uh, new, not DeWalt. So, this one was a little worn when I, when I used it. This one was new, and this one was new. And that's what it took. You could see they're worn down to nothing. They're, they're practically nothing now. And that's what it took to cut all this steel. The, again, it's 36 inches by wide, 36 inches long, 6 inches deep, right? Um, and uh, and 0.283 inches thick. And I was only able to cut out these two pieces. So 36, 36, and for argument's sake, another 36. That's all I got out of these, these pieces. So it's just good to know so you know how many discs you would need to buy. All right, guys, so I'm very happy, very excited about this project. I can't wait to start grinding, smoothing out the uh, these blanks here.
get in the right shape, taking off the scale, and then starting to, to grind. Um, just checking out for flaws. Got a little flaw over here. We're going to have to hide that somehow. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed Spark It Up Sunday. And um, I hope you stay for the ride. It's going to be a long one, lots of vids. As I make these, uh, as I do my best to make these uh, katana swords. Alright guys, take care. Go Ravens! Bye.